All right, so we're still talking about becoming a real disciple of Jesus Christ here on Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown. Our passage comes from Luke chapter 14, verse 25 through 35. And on Monday, uh, we did the introduction. On Tuesday, we talked about um, the family. Um, that, that it's necessary for us to be a good disciple, we need to love Jesus even more so than we love our families, even more so than we love ourselves. Amen? And then we found out on, on Wednesday that we need to bear our crosses. Now that doesn't mean we need to all put on necklaces that are, uh, you know, gold-plated. But no, we need to die to who we are so that Christ can live his life out through us. Remember, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. It's necessary for me to be a good disciple, to surrender to him, but it's also necessary for me to, to win disciples, for them to be able to see Christ in me, the hope of glory. And then yesterday I talked to you about finishing the race. See, we can't just start the race and hope that somehow it gets completed. But you and I, when we uh, start to invest our time into somebody and bring them along as a disciple, we need to finish the race. We need to never give up. We need to keep pressing on. And the same thing for us to become disciples of Jesus Christ. There is no quit. Um, this is a forever thing. This is not trying to be a good Christian or trying to be a good disciple. This is, I am going to be a good disciple and I am going to complete my my race. Amen. So today I want to talk to you about a war. Surrender to the strong king. And it comes from, again, Luke chapter 14, starting with verse 31. Or what king going out to make war against another king does not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000? Or else while the other is still a great way off, he sends a delegation and asks conditions of peace. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple. So, the image Christ describes to two kings. One is outnumbered, so he wisely approaches the stronger um, king and makes peace before war breaks out. Uh, you and I are the kings, uh, are one of the kings, and God is the other king. And so, because we know we can never win against God, the best and wisest thing for you and I to do is to surrender to him. So, here it is. In order for us to be good disciples of Jesus Christ, we need to surrender, not only to God, but to Jesus Christ. Surrender to his Holy Spirit. Surrender to his kingdom principles. We need to allow the kingdom of God to be lived out in us and through us. Amen. Uh, you cannot be a disciple unless you are willing to give up control of your life to Jesus. And that's hard to do. None of us wants to give up. It reminds me of the time that I went to Hawaii. And uh, we were on the uh, one side. This was in uh, Maui. And we were on the side where the waves are huge, right? And I, I can surf, but I'm not a very good surfer. And I was on a long board. My, my cousin was on a short board. And boy, the... the the waves was just incredible how big they were. They were crashing in on me, and the next thing you know, and I'm trying to get out past them, and the next thing you know, I see these rocks coming up behind me, and boy, it was all I could do. I had to let the board go and crash in on the, on the rocks, and I finally got in, but I was all beat up, and, and what a mess um, because of, the, of the, um, uh, the rocks. And so... I, I go up and I tell my brother, didn't you see me struggling out there? No, I didn't see you. Well, just about that time, I see this young girl go down and jump in the, the water again because she's going out to tell her husband and her dad that they're getting over too far and they're going to get into the rocks. Well, just about that time, the surge takes her over there. She's screaming for help. Well, one of the things you got to know when you go to help somebody that's in a situation like that, if they're bigger and stronger than you, then probably they're going to hurt you. If you're going out to save them, you probably won't be able to save them if you're bigger or stronger. Now, this little girl was kind of tiny, was kind of small, but still she was 
really struggling for herself. So when I got to her, the first thing I did was grab her and shake her and say, listen, if you want to be safe, then you need to surrender to me. You need to allow me to get you in. And so she did. She pretty much just gave up. She didn't fight me anymore. It could have caused a situation where we both could have drowned if she would have latched on to me and the, and the waves were that, that strong. And so she did. She, she relaxed and we both went in and of course I put her on top of me and I got really beat up over the rocks again. And pretty soon here comes her dad and her, her, and her husband and they pick her up and say thank you very much and off they go. And, um, but the thing of it is, is that surrender needed to take place. And it's the same thing with you and I with our walk with God and being used by him to make disciples or become a, his disciple. We need to be willing to surrender. Just completely surrender to him. Well, why not? Again, he is our king of kings and lord of lords. He is our master and our savior. Hallelujah. Let's surrender to him, become good disciples in Jesus' name. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.